The total connectedness model is an ecologically based model of well-being. You notice it doesn't say mental illness or treatment of mental illness or intervention for, for foster care children or for juvenile delinquents or for acting out adolescents in the family court or acting out adolescents in, the, in family therapy, et cetera. It has many, many different applications. What I'm going to focus on today is the applications that, that, uh, that you're concerned with as judges. It's, it's culturally plural. It will fit and does easily with every culture in the world that I know of, and I ask this everywhere I go, every time I give a talk like this. And so if you know of some culture that does not have the concepts that are included in here, I need to know about it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about definitions. We're going to talk about the rationale. We're going to talk about the model, the methods, applications, examples, and next steps. Here we go. First, the definition, tonal. The tonal is a, the heart, mind, body, and soul of a person, the sum of those of of that person, that which is individual to them. That's the tonal. Every one of us has a tonal, or is a tonal. So that's the noun. It also relates to the entirety of the individual. We could talk about tonal alignment or tonal attunement. And it's the connectedness of a person along the four dimensions uh, of heart, mind, body, and soul, or larger meaning, which is another definition for soul, for the, the more secular minded uh, among us. So what is tonal? Tonal is a Mesoamerican word. This is not from Western Europe. This is not from the turn of the last, the century before last. This is a, a although it's ancient, it's also very modern because it, it, it points to something that our ancient wisdom traditions have known all along, but our modern neuroscientists and our physicists are, are pointing out more and more that all things are interconnected. You cannot isolate something and, and just study it separately or intervene with it separately. Everything is part of a larger context. So there's no corresponding word in English. I'd be interested in knowing about any words. In, uh, there's none in Latin, French, German, uh, Italian, uh, Spanish, except in this Indian uh, derivation. I'd be interested to know if there was, and if you could come up to me after the talk and find another word to use or to add to this mix, that would be good. I haven't found one yet. So tonals are external and internal. The internal goal is alignment. How many of us can honestly say that our heart, mind, body, and soul are completely aligned? If, not you, Judge Specia, but the, everybody else. That's right. It's an aspiration of sort. It's, when, when you reach that point, then you are you're beatific, basically. You, you are either saintly or you are such a consummate human being that you've, you've You've reached something very close to perfection. Some people have done this. Their heart, their mind, their body, and their soul are perfectly aligned, and they go through life in alignment with a larger purpose, and they live extraordinary human lives. And that's the, uh, one of the goals, I, I would imagine, of, of what we try to do while we're here. There's also an external alignment, and that is connection to others along these four dimensions. We, we don't just connect or attach to people along one dimension. There are heart, mind, body, and soul connection to other folks. So imagine taking care of this plant. This is what we used to do in child psychiatry, or actually what we still do in child psychiatry in our 15-minute medication visits. We, we take the child. And we say, okay, we're going to diagnose it, and we're going to fix it, and we understand it, and here's the prescription, and see you in six weeks. Well, you can't do that. You can't even look at a child or a family without considering the soil, the sun, the moisture, the nutrition in the soil, the uh, temperature. All of, these, all of these features of the ecology are critically important to understand the plant. You cannot isolate the child or the plant, or anything for that matter, without looking at the larger system. Try changing your docket without considering the other dockets and see what happens. So if we're going to care for these kids, we have to care for these kids. So why, why this concept of tonal? Why introduce something uh, which sounds different? Well, humans do have hearts, minds, bodies, and souls, and we have the neurobiological correlates of this now, and there's no, there's no uh, dispute about that. The soul and much of the heart of psychiatry has been left out of modern psychology and psychiatry. The soul has been thrown out completely. This severely curtails the usefulness of our, our mind sciences, our psychologies, our psychiatries, our social works, our things like this, it, for working with the, the, the people that we want to help. 
all of us have potentials for much richer lives. And meaning and purpose, these are soul dimensions, are precisely what's indicated. And if you look at some of the most ther powerful therapeutic modalities for the treatment of addiction, for the treatment of obsessions, for the treatment of just general unhappiness, or, or impulse control problems, almost invariably they involve getting involved with something bigger than yourself. And so the concept of heart, mind, body, and soul can be used as a unifying, unifying and uniting conceptualization because it's a human universal. All of us have it, and those words are understood whether you're dealing with African Americans, Latinos, Asians, Africans, Canadians, Austin Texians, Texans in general. Everybody understands those concepts. So we've already gone through the neurobiology of it. Frontal cortex is the mind. Color-coded green for the creative field of the mind, the fertile field. The body, which is the genetic component, is blue for the blood that runs in the veins, as in blue blood. The, uh, the heart is red, the heart that bleeds. That corresponds again to the emotional, the limbic system. And then the soul is colored yellow. It corresponds to higher purpose. It's a meta-neurological phenomenon where the scientists are still working on ways to try and grok this. I, I doubt they're going to be successful. And the most serious and, most, and the best of those doubt it as well, because this universe is far, far, far more mysterious than we can even begin to imagine imagining how to conceptualize. So the, the, the assumption that the human brain, as complex as it is, is capable of understanding the, the true enormity of our circumstance, of our cosmos, of our universe, and what drives it is a huge assumption and probably mistaken. 